This is just a uh, little video on these um, extremely cheap um, Cree high power LED modules that I got from uh, Digikey. This was about, I think, $2.60 in single unit quantities, and it's a 9 volt um, LED. It's got about a dozen uh, dies wired in series parallel. Um, judging by the fact that it's 9 volts, it's going to be four strings of three dies and it's also even at very low drive currents extremely bright uh, before you scream bloody murder oh you're not using a heat sink uh. um i'm running it on that it's a through a 270 ohm current limiting resistor which if this which is probably limiting this to thing to probably a few milliamperes to a few i don't know maybe 100 microamperes even maybe and of course, as you can tell, that's an expired uh, battery that um, expired two years ago, which is why I get a bunch of them for cheap because they still kind of work. And um, yeah, and of course, domestically made too, according to the thing, to the uh, Digikey bag. And these are also available in warm light as well. But I don't think that those are slightly less efficient because um, that means that more of the light that it emits is generated by the phosphor. So again, of course, losses blah 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 stuff I've covered in previous videos and also another interesting thing that is that the thing is um, on some kind of a ceramic I think some kind of I don't know, thermally high thermal conductivity alumina or something I don't know exactly what it's made of but it's bright right and you can kind of see the glow down there the phosphor come on come on buddy or, hmm. Can kind of, that's just the current flowing through my uh, finger, and you can see the individual dyes glowing in it there. DD. Oh, and that random, um, mysterious, um, gold dot right there, that's just a fiducial for applications where this thing would be a uh, machine soldered or something. That's just because, um, since the thing would be otherwise symmetrical about, um, Actually, about either of the opposite corner axes, uh, that's just to denote because, again, the thing is polarized because it's an LED. Durr. Uh, so yeah, just a little thingy. What I'm probably going to do is, um, I don't have any thermally conductive um, adhesive, so I'm probably just going to do is mount these on a bit of scrap aluminum. What I'm planning on doing is getting some, uh, next time I go to Home Cheapo, uh, getting a bunch of we're getting a couple of uh, cheap, um, oh, they're the uh, 150 watt halogen full blade things, and they're just ripping out the uh, recessed single contact lamp holders, and maybe reworking the optics or making my own reflectors, just sticking in a big slab of, um, I think, 8, eight inch or 3 16 aluminum sheet, because I've got a bunch of that. And, um, or, darn, no, that'd be 3 16 yeah, three seconds. Um, or five, three seconds, something like that. Um, that's with a tiny bit of heat sink paste on the back. Once you get it in real good thermal contact with the thing, just strip off the excess heat sink paste that's gooped at, that's um, squirted out the outside, and then just hit it with a bit of super glue. Because I've done that in the past with um, various power LEDs, and it's um, at least I found it to be a reasonably effective method of mounting the things. But your fuel con your your fuel economy may, may vary, and I also got some other um also domestically made uh, Cree amber LEDs, but those are just um actually these things these are um they're Cree X lamp um X P E A M B dash L one dash bunch of numbers they're um amber um one watt power LEDs or I think these might be capable of higher. Um, powers, but I'll be actually considering they're amber, and I'll be driving these at 350 milliamperes. Um, they'll be slightly less than a watt each. Um, not as efficient, though. That's I think something like high 70s to low 90s uh, lumens per watt. These are I think 54 lumens per watt at rated drive current, which is a bit higher than what I'm going to be using for. So it will be slightly more efficient. But uh, these I'm just going to make into a. Um, reasonable brightness amber floodlight for 
bug for just largely places where you don't want to attract loads of bugs. And what I may do is I may get more of these as well. So the design that I'll come up with, I'll just have an extra space for mounting additional LEDs. And as far as LED drivers, I got this um, Triad Magnetics, one of those. Um, Typical buck regulator, it's kind of like a slightly bigger, slightly cheaper version of the buck puck device. Of course, not made domestically, but it's at least not made in Ch communist China. And it's sort of like it's potted with a slightly compliant um, material, kind of like what I think it's like what Connor Wolf found in all, all the LED lamps that he did teardowns of. It's slightly squishy. And oh, that's dead really from a previous video. And I also got one of these. It's a, um, although I have other ones of these as well, this is a, a Lux Drive. Um, by LED Dynamics, of course, domestically made. Uh, week 17, 2013, so it's fairly recent. Um, buck Toot, it's uh, their cheapest uh, buck, um, constant current buck regulator that they make for driving LEDs. And um, that's pretty much it for the video. Just a random thing. Yeah.